Utah Gun Exchange, the nation's patriot marketplace. Buy, sell, trade. UtahGunExchange.com. This is the Night Cobra. So we got a lot of questions about when we were going to come out with a product that was really, you know, we've done so well with this product, which is our stainless steel version of the Cobra. And a couple of things we did on the Cobra, the line of Cobras, we moved the grip rearward, um, which really gives you a tremendous purchase on the gun and really the right length of pull. We also straightened the trigger itself. You remember old new agents of the, or agents of the past had a deep hook in it. That creates a lot of isometric tension on the pull. The straighter we can make, that's one of the reasons 1911 shoots so accurately because of that straight fire trigger. So by straightening this, it really helped us and also institutes a bit of a mechanical advantage on the trigger pull itself, allowing the trigger to go back smoothly to the rear. We also widen this trigger guard if you want to use it with gloves. And the leaf spring in it, very similar to the Python, but we trap the leaf spring in such a way we get a consistent trigger pull on this. It's a phenomenal double action trigger pull. You'll notice that all the lines on this gun, all the, the, uh, the, the fit parts of the gun, there's no gun fit on this part. But today's machining processes, most of what we did in the past, most of the filing was because of poor manufacturing techniques. With today's CNC's, there's really no need. The gun fit on this product is extraordinary. We also removed the hammer spur on it because people that want to carry it, it's a double action only. Put on a G10 grip which won't print the way a, a rubber grip might print on your clothing and catch on it. And we added a really nice tritium post and a night sight with a white ring which is very visible for a consumer. A couple other things we did on the barrel. It may look like a sleeve but it's actually beveled out. It's an actual one piece barrel. We did a full lug on the barrel to fully project the, uh, the cylinder ejector. And if you look at the night sight, you can actually flip it out with a simple Allen key. It's a square pocket design, no roll pin or stake sights. Very simple to change out the sights if you want to. And with this particular product, we put a DLC coating on it, very similar to what we use on the Marine Corps pistol in our combat unit. Very resilient process. We have over 6,000 trigger pulls on this, and you can notice even from the show, there's not a, a wear mark on that cylinder. This gun has an MSRP of 899, and we're very, very excited to bring it to the marketplace. What is the coating? What is the black coating made of? It's a DLC, DLC coating. Okay. So it metallurgically bonds, unlike a paint coating like a, a Cerakote finish or such. It's got a tremendously resilient. This is the same coating we use, or a similar coating to what we use on the Marine Corps pistol. Excellent. And that's why we're able to not have a ring, even though it's been fired, dry Correct. fired, thousand or so times. Here we, did, we did six thousand, and and it shows no wear on it. So I know myself. I have one of our combat unit uses a very similar coating, and I have almost thirty thousand rounds, and it shows almost no wear. Very nice. And again, this is the Night Cobra. Correct? Night Cobra, correct. Okay. Have you changed anything else on the stock Cobra for 2018, or is it really uh, the no, same? No, same, same 699 retail. All the same features that we talked about, a stainless steel gun. This is also single and double action. Nice hold grip, very comfortable to shoot. You know, one of the things that we talked about with the Cobras, Cobras of the past were an alloy-based product, so a lightweight product. This is about 27, 28 ounces. The beauty of, of this gun is we believe that shooting plus P ammunition, plus steel frame, it's really the way to go. It's a comfortable way to shoot the gun. The other thing, really a hallmark of cool is it's a six shot cylinder, not a five shot. The trade off we think is not a good trade off. There's very little geometric difference between a five and a six, six shot cylinder. And this gun holsters in um, holsters from Galco, we have holsters from Blade Tech. And uh, it's just a, it's probably, if you want to carry a backup 38 Special Revolver, I would argue that there's nothing that this pistol doesn't have or this revolver doesn't have for that consumer. Okay, I heard you say something that was incredibly interesting about the Python. Uh, someone was around saying that the Python is the best gun that Colt has ever built, and uh, you had let them know that yeah, we, you we, have reason to believe otherwise. Can yeah, you talk about I mean, that? Yeah, so I, I will tell you that Pythons were very proud of our history, and but most of what we were talking about with gun fit on the product, there was a lot of work done on Pythons that was about removing tool marks and poor machining techniques that happened years ago. Um, the other thing nice about it, the way we've handled this linear leaf spring 
and we've trapped it in such a way that it's yeah. much more consistent. There were pythons that clearly had tremendous trigger pulls, and but for us, this product is a more consistent product that pulls on a computer scan much more linear without any stacking at the end of the trigger pull. You want to speak to the tolerances of the the new machining processes over what's been done in the past? I, you those know, advantages. I, I don't. You can just see it in the gun fit. I don't want to see, okay. speak to the specifics of those tolerances, but I can tell you that if you looked at 20 years ago when we last really produced revolvers to today, it's a it's a quantum leap forward in terms of machining techniques. And I heard that you guys changed the geometry of the gun in very subtle ways. So that it's different than the original, but it's an advantage to the shooter, is yeah, that right? So for us, it was really, and one of the early discussions about bringing back revolvers was really about <laughs> trying to creep the same aesthetic of the gun, of our history, but creating a better gun. Much like if you looked at what happened in the muscle car industry when Ford reintroduced the Mustang back in, it didn't have a 67 air conditioner or the corrosion issues that it had or under horsepower, but they built a better gun. This leaf spring is the best trigger action we put on a double action revolver, period. And to bring that into a new frame wow. with some new geometry, it's, a, it's, it's been a home run for us at Colt. That's a bold statement, but I pulled the trigger and it feels incredible. Thank you very much for your time. Yep. That's great. Perfect. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe and go to utahgunexchange.com for all of your Patriot gear needs. To all those in Second Amendment deprived states, if you're reading this, you are the resistance and we are with you. The nation's Patriot Marketplace. Buy, sell, trade. UtahGunExchange.com.